please tell me that you saw this body camera footage. Are you going to react? Are you going to react? And I understand why y'all asked me that because I am kind of like the body camera footage queen of YouTube at this point. I pretty much have solidified my spot. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you doing on this fine Tuesday? I'm doing quite well. It has been a particularly busy week or I don't even know, two, week and a half, whatever. I have a lot of stuff going on, but in particular, there is an explosion of activity with Britney Spears and news having to do with her and things surrounding her. So you might have seen the news that came out yesterday that Britney Spears was apparently allegedly pulled over by a police officer and that there are body camera videos going around. Actually, during my premiere of my video yesterday where I was comparing the two versions of Britney's book, a bunch of y'all were like, please tell me that you saw that Britney got pulled over. Please tell me that you saw this body camera footage. Are you going to react? Are you going to react? And I understand why y'all asked me that because I am kind of like the body camera footage queen of YouTube at this point. I pretty much have solidified my spot. <laughs> but on top of that, I'm also a major leader of the Free Britney movement. And I think it was like last year at this point, I started my own Free Britney movement because the ones in the first Free Britney movement did not really know how to act. Some people did and and they came and joined me on my new free britney movement the one that i started over here on my channel last year and basically the free britney movement that i started is the one where we let each other think different things and we're not going to jump down someone's throat and kick them out of our basically cult is what they put together over there in the other free britney movement and by they i'm not talking about the leaders i never had any personal issues or problems with the leaders of the free britney movement it was the fans, the obsessed fans. It was them. But anyway, okay. So I say all that to say, yes, I did see that there was some body camera footage of Britney. Now, I wanted to save my actual reaction of watching the video for on camera. I just thought it would be a better video if I just did the, if I just recorded myself watching it for the first time. But before we even watch it, there's a couple things that do come to mind that I want to get out of the way. There's a couple things that I have questions about and I I don't know if they're going to be answered by watching this body camera footage but the first question i wonder and the first question i have is where did britney get pulled over because i have requested numerous body camera footages from the LAPD. And every time I request body camera footage, the LAPD tells me this is at least three different cases and many instances within each case. When I request the body camera footage from LAPD, LAPD tells me that it is against their FOIA statute to give body camera footage, to give 911 calls, and to give police reports. So in my experience as an investigator, I have never been successful in getting a police report, a body camera footage, or a 911 audio call ever in the county of LA. So my first question is, did this stuff happen in LA? And if it did, was it the LAPD? And if it was the LAPD, why is it that this video is circulating? Because I've been told in my research, in my investigations, that LAPD does not give out body camera footage to the public because it violates their FOIA statute. Now, do I think that's true? Do I think it actually violates the FOIA statute? Hell no. No, I don't. I think they just don't like transparency over there. Basically the same as the NYPD. I mean, NYPD, LAPD, same thing as far as I'm concerned when it comes to transparency because they do not want it. No, they do not. Okay. So first I thought we could. So the first thing I thought we could do is read the, of course, TMZ broke the news. So I don't know how or why TMZ broke the news or how or why they always break the news. I speculate that it is because it is a, never mind. I don't even want to tell them what I know. Anyway, um, so teams, I did want to say though, yes, actually literally yesterday, I picked back up on my script. I was working on a script for a BJ Investigates for Harvey Levin and TMZ. Harvey Levin's like the guy that does TMZ or whatever. And he has for a long time. Did y'all know that man was born in like 1952? The man is a dinosaur. I had no idea. I guess that's what happens whenever you do the anti-aging that he does. But anyway, so I will be doing an investigation into Harvey Levin and into TMZ and the script for that is underway. But in the meantime, let's see what this tabloid had to say. And the reason we are looking at TMZ, a lot of people like to tell me, you know, TMZ is fake news. TMZ is a tabloid. You shouldn't get your news from TMZ. And I do agree with you. I've, I've mentioned this many, many times. I agree with you. It's a tabloid. Unfortunately, 
TMZ is the exclusive source breaking news for many, many of the cases I cover. And so I do have to acknowledge that. I have to read it from there. That's where I have to get the info. I agree with you on TMZ, but let's see what they had to say. I said that there was a couple things that I wanted to discuss. The other thing I wanted to discuss was the timing. I haven't watched these videos yet, but I have read enough, gathered enough to know that it's two separate incidents where Brittany's been pulled over. And in the two separate incidents, one happened in September and one happened at the beginning of this month. And it's like, hmm, that's very interesting that even though it happened all the way at the beginning of this month, Nobody reported on it. Nobody said anything about it until October 30th. The book just came out on October 23rd. Literally like exactly a week ago, the book came out. And now, you know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? The timing is a little bit sus. But without further ado, let's talk about this article and then let's watch the body camera footage. Britney Spears, sorry officer nature calls traffic stop body cam. This was yesterday in the afternoon Pacific time. It was the morning in my time zone, but I was doing other stuff, so I didn't even know until my premiere that this had happened. So it says Britney Spears used one of the oldest tricks in the book in an attempt to get out of a recent traffic stop, explaining she had to go to the bathroom, which caused her to cross the double yellow traffic lines. We have obtained the body camera footage from the California Highway Patrol officers pulling Britney over on two separate occasions, September 10th and October 6th, both near her home in Thousand Oaks. So let me see what county Thousand Oaks is in. So it does say the California Highway Patrol, and I do believe that those are like state troopers. Okay, so this is Ventura County anyway. So this is not LA County. So it could be that, you know, because this isn't in LA, that's why they were able to, you know, release body camera footage, but it still does raise questions to me. Okay, near her home. Okay, so during both exchanges, Brittany is super apologetic and explains that she's just coming back from a vacation. However, during the October, October 6th stop, she blames having to use the bathroom for passing double yellow lines, exclaiming, I'm so sorry, I have to use the bathroom. It's about to come out right now. I'm so sorry. And if that is true, girl, I've been there. You know what I mean? Where you're just trying to get home, your odds are watering, you got to go so bad. Then it says during the September 10th stop, which why didn't we hear about this until exactly one week after her book came out is my question. Uh, I don't know. During the September 10th stop, Brittany was pulled over for going 61 in a 40 mile per hour zone. So she was going 21 miles over the speed limit. Again, she was apologetic, but she also gets busted for driving without her license and without proof of insurance in the car. We should note, Brittany explains that her security usually holds on to her documentation, but that's not enough for the officer who lets her know she's got to keep it on her at all times. For the yellow double line violation, Brittany was hit with a $327 fine. The violations from early September were more pricey with an $1,140 fine. Okay, so I thought let's just watch these videos videos that TMZ does have posted here and see if we can get any further information on the situation. I'm so sorry. You're speeding. Let me get your license, registration, insurance. Um, my license actually is um, with my security at home. And uh -huh. I don't have it with me right now at this moment. I'm so sorry, but it's like 10 minutes away. Um, you're going 60 and it's like a 45. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Please forgive me. Can, I get, your can I get your registration, insurance? Excuse me? Registration, insurance? And, and we're literally 27 seconds in. I already have something to say. So I saw a little tiny bit of commentary online about this. And I started realizing like people as usual, as usual, already had their mind very, very made up on what their opinion was on the situation. And so for that reason, I kind of stopped looking at people's opinions because if I'm looking at somebody's opinion before I make a video, I want the opinion to be like kind of neutral or maybe just not so certain because if I'm watching somebody that's like super certain about their opinion on something, it's like, it doesn't really leave me any room to kind of have a different opinion. You know what I mean? And I don't like that. I don't like feeling like I have to have the same opinion as anybody else. I want to have the opinion that's like natural to me. So I didn't see a ton of commentary, but some of the commentary that I did see had to do with like, you know, Britney's lying or Britney's a celebrity and she's trying to get out of a speeding ticket or whatever and celebrities shouldn't be let off the hook so easy and stuff like that. But like, I can even understand giving her a ticket and stuff like that. But the thing that I don't like is that everybody is like rushing to say like Britney should be treated like everybody else is treated by police officers. And I actually would say the opposite. I would say everybody should get the treatment that Britney Spears got because police officers are public servants. 
they derive their powers from the consent of the governed who's that's us that's me that's you that's us we are the governed we've consented to give police some power right and what have they done with the power that we have given them abused it completely usurped additional ground treated us as if we are prisoners in the open air prison they have not done a good job with the power that we have entrusted to them they have done it actually poor job, terrible job. It's terrible. It's been awful. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. That's how good of a job they've done. So when I see this officer, you know, being kind of nice to Brittany and Brittany being like, oh, sorry, you know, I actually appreciate the de-escalation that this officer is doing. And I think that more officers should treat more of we the people this way. I do not think Brittany Spears should be treated like an open air prisoner. I don't think any of us should be. And that's the thing, like some of y'all are so deranged and depraved that you think that just because something bad happened to you that everybody else has to suffer that as well. It's kind of like that fraternity, like that frat boy syndrome, where it's like when you're the one being hazed through rush week or whatever, you you hate it. You understand why it's terrible. But then whenever you're literally the next year or two years later, you're abusing the next class of people. And I was not in a sorority or anything like that. I just know that's how it works in the fraternities. And it's like, that's what's going on here. Y'all see the open air prison guards treating people like ass. And you're like, well, I want Britney Spears to suffer even more. Something is wrong with you if that's what you think. And apparently there's something wrong with a lot of y'all. All my information is in my house. Okay. Do you have so she's telling him, I don't have my stuff. She's like, I, he's like, do you have your license and registration? She's like, I don't, I don't know. And it's perfectly believable that she don't know what that is. I doubt she's ever, ever held in her hands her own insurance and registration certificates that go inside the car. I highly doubt she's ever held those in her hands herself in her life. So I don't think the girl would know what insurance and registration really looked like, especially under this like high stress situation like she's in right here. Have a valid license? I've, I've stopped you before out here for speeding. I stopped you before out here for speeding. I gave you a break last time. Um, all right, can I get your full name? The middle. Data break. Like we don't all know this girl's date of birth, but I do understand why they did censor it out because that is probably one of their rules. Do you not have a registration in the car? Um, do you have insurance? I doesn't your security do. doesn't your security usually follow you? No, my is at the house. He's at the house. Okay. Um I don't like how he asked that. It's almost like, where's your babysitter, ma'am? Are you able to have him bring your stuff? Can you have him bring your information? Can you drive there? Nah, I mean I no, I don't want to do that. Um, or he can send you a picture of the uh insurance. And insurance. And what? And insurance. And insurance too. Okay, just wait here for me, okay? She's so funny. So I could show it to this cop. All right, ma'am. Um, so I'm gonna write you a fix it ticket for the license, and then I'll have him. I don't know what's a fix it ticket. I read that somewhere else. What is that? Oh, a non-moving violation. I think fix it is just like a non-moving violation, which would be different than a speeding ticket. That's a moving violation. I'm guessing you do have insurance, but you need to have it in the vehicle or accessible. So if you get in a car crash, you can exchange it um, versus having to try to juggle it back and forth. Um, just sign in the red box by signing or not admitting to anything. I'm gonna give you a warning for speeding, by the way. Um, just sign in the red box by signing or not admitting anything. You're just promising you're gonna take care of it with the court. They should send you a notice to your address um, in general. So the open air prison Gestapo has to get their $25 from Britney Spears or whatever. I mean, but again, I mean, she was going 15 miles an hour over the limit. There is a certain element of, you know, you should follow the speeding rules and stuff. But if she really did have to use the bathroom, let her go. And that's the thing. He's not giving her a speeding ticket anyway. And that's really the main issue is that she's speeding. I mean, yeah, she should have her insurance in her car, but she didn't get in a wreck. Like there's no actual harm that's happened here. So it's kind of just like, let's see, we're not even halfway done yet. Also, this one is the September one. So this was like a month ago, a month and a half ago, six weeks ago, this happened. And again, why didn't we hear about it until exactly a week after her book came out? The insurance, they can sign off on the ticket or and then you talk to the court with how to take care of it. Okay. Thank you. Or have your assistant take care of it. Um, please slow down out here. This is the second time, okay? There's your copy. You're free to go. 
Like, it's really like a back road, girl. Sorry, I had a TT. My house is right there. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, pass on. Shh, okay, so I had a TT. Does anybody else say that? Is that a Louisiana thing? TT. That is the way that they used to say that. I, I have that. I just got nostalgia blasted right from the past. TT. He had a TT. That's how you, how you say it to a little kid. Okay, so now we're in October. This is the one that happened, you know, what, three weeks ago? two and a half, three weeks ago. Also, October 6th is a very interesting date for this to have happened because we also had that date come up yesterday in our book comparison. Whenever I went and looked at the Britney Brands Inc. filings in California, there had actually been one filed on October 6th. So busy day for Britney. Was that the day of the eclipse? I'm so sorry. Do you have your license? I'm trying to shade you. Hold on. There we go. Okay, you haven't gotten your license yet? Now she's saying she just flew in from Mexico. I stopped. This is the same cop. So this is the third time this guy has pulled her over, which means maybe this is just his patrol. Or does it mean that this guy's like looking for Britney Spears' car specifically to do something? Like, I don't know about y'all. I've never been pulled over three times by the same cop. That seems a little gang stalky. Yeah, uh, a few weeks ago and you're I'm supposed so to get sorry. your license. I'm sorry. Okay, um, do you know Sorry. You can't pass on the door. Give me the ticket and go. Double yellows? Okay. Yeah, the reason for that is there's private driveways, so, um, so people are pulling in and out. Okay. Um, I think she said I'm about to pee on myself. Do you have any, like, photo ID or anything with your name on it? I, I know who you are. Did this man just say, do you have any photo ID or anything with your name on it? I know who you are. But, um, okay, you really got to carry it. Is there a reason why you don't carry it with you? No, it's because I forgot to take it back from the vehicle. Beautiful, lovely, you know what I mean? I can't really tell what she's saying because this loud ass like 10-4 radio or whatever is screaming at me, but he's like, why don't you carry an ID? Which he's getting on my nerves, but also good question. Like, why doesn't her security just give her her ID? It, it's kind of making me wonder, does she ever have her ID? It's kind of making me wonder, is she allowed to have her ID? It's kind of making me wonder, does she have a valid ID? And the passport, I guess the passport makes sense because I doubt that Britney Spears arranges her own travel. So when you are booking tickets and things like that, you do need the passport. There's numbers on it. There's things on it. I can understand why Britney would hand over her passport to someone, but a driver's license is something you're supposed to have when you drive your car. It's not like she has it and it's expired. So she don't have it. This is the second time she hasn't had it. And she's like, my security has it and I forget to get it back. But it's like, it sounds like they forget to give it back too. So do they, like, so you fly into the airport, right? And then they take it from you and they take it home? At the airport? Yeah, well, they want to take it and they take it to the thing and they search it and everything. They never did that before, so my security is very cautious about the passports and everything and make sure that um, I'm not taking advantage of when they... They were really kind of rude last time I was Got there, it. so that's why. Um, is there registration in the car or... I don't really understand her explanation for why the security has her ID document. Or anything like that? Transport. What is that? Can I see one of those, please? Honestly, good for her. She's out here. And this is what we've always said, or I've always said, at least. I've always said all of us had to learn how to adult at some point. And unfortunately for Brittany, nobody let her learn. And so it's like, I don't know. I, I know that she's like been through so much more than any of us can even fathom. And she's so much more experienced and smarter in so many ways than like we are because of her education and the way that she's been educated in the real world and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's like, I remember being like 19 and being like, 
or like handing the cop like whatever's in the glove box like I don't know it's like you have to deal with those documents a lot before you really understand okay that's what a registration looks like that's what insurance proof looks like you know stuff like that or my driver's license isn't in the car and I'm, I got a ticket for it or whatever it's like maybe some of y'all never got a ticket in your life but I got tickets for stuff like this and it was just like I had to learn how to drive I had to learn how to interact with police officers you know you have to learn all this stuff and so I'm kind of glad that Brittany's able to do it in a little bit of a low stakes kind of way because it does seem like this cop isn't being the worst. I mean, there's way, way, way worse ways this cop could be being. Just watch my channel itself to know that. But then at the same time, it makes me wonder why was this body camera footage released in a bundle and exclusively put out by TMZ like a week after Britney's book came out? That's the main question I just can't shake. Glove compartment. Is this uh, registration? Is it registered to you or is it registered to like a business? Oh, here we go. Perfect. Hold on one sec. Okay, yeah, that works. Um, I don't know if the insurance is in here, though. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Okay, here. I'm going to give you um, back this. This one. Yeah, that one. I mean, from an auditing perspective, very good de-escalation on the cop's part. I really appreciate that he did not ask her to get out of the car, which is something a lot of them do just because they can. I think a lot of cops would have asked Britney to get out of the car just because they can and they would want like want to be ordering Britney Spears around. The more I watch this video, the less... I feel like this cop is trying to bully or gang stalk Brittany. And the more I feel like he may be trying to conduct some type of investigation on her freedom. I said, I feel like he may. I didn't say I do believe he definitely is. Okay. Y'all have to do a better job of listening to the exact words that come out of not only my mouth, but other people's mouth. You have to do a better job at it. Because I'll say something like, I'm starting to believe it may right? You see all those qualifiers? Y'all have, have to listen. You have to listen to the words people say. Read the words even. I'm starting to be like, he may be conducting some type of investigation into like what's really going on here. He's caught Brittany by herself twice now. And that either means he waits till she's by herself so he can pull her over and ask her questions or she drives all the time in front of him and he only pulled her over a couple times. Also, I'm still open to the idea that he may be just trying to get Britney Spears on body camera so he can sell the story to TMZ, I guess. But I don't know. I'm kind of like open to more than that idea at this point because usually I would expect if that was what was going on, the cop would be saying, get out of the car. Well, I already told you this twice. Like this is now the third interaction that they've had. One, And then I'm going to hold on to this one just for a minute. And then uh, just confirm you're, you're Miss Spears, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, just wait here for a minute, okay? Yes, sir. I'll be with you in a minute. Ma'am, uh, here's your that information. What's your uh, address out here? Give me your address out here. Uh, okay. Are you sure? Are you sure that's what it is? Is that considered um, Thousand Oaks or is it Newberry Park or Westlake? And do you know the zip code by any chance? Sir? Do you know the zip code? So she says she's living in Westlake, but we've always been told that she lives in Thousand Oaks. By any chance? No. Um, okay, I'll look it up real quick. 3140. And just confirm, so your license is at your house? Um, is there a way you can make like a photocopy and you can keep it in that same envelope that way? And I promise you, I'm not out here just trying to pull you over. That is what... I'm wondering, is are you just out here just to pull her over? Oh, okay. And I understand because you don't want people to like try to take it as a souvenir or something. So, um, and I just want you to know that I'm not out here trying to pull you over. I'm out here looking for uh, people speeding and passing over the double yellows. Okay. I don't know if I believe it now that he said it like that. I'm just looking up the zip code. Okay, ma'am, so I'm going to be issuing a citation for passing over the double yellows when it's not allowed. Um, just sign in the red box. By signing, you're not admitting to doing it. All you're doing is promising you're going to take care of the ticket with the court. Uh, I don't know if we'll fit there. And then I'm going to give you a copy. Um, it should be mailed to your address, so hopefully that is the correct address. But if not, um, the court's in Simi Valley. There's some contact information down below, okay? Do you have any questions? Okay, uh, make sure everything. There's this one bug that will not leave me alone. That's correct. 
And then here you go, um, you're free to go, just drive safely, okay? They gotta make sure that they give you some little instruction before you drive. Well, always gotta give you some little order. They gotta just give you something. They gotta get that last word. Drive safe, make sure you slow down, make sure you get that light fixed, make sure you get that crack fixed, make sure you get that sticker update. Shut up, shut up. You just gave me a ticket that says those exact words, did you not? If you was just gonna yap it, then what was the point of this ticket? Leave me alone. I just wanna tell somebody what the f to do. Okay, well, that was it. I do know that there was like an extended version of one of them on the Law and Crime YouTube channel, if y'all wanna go check that out. But a lot of it is just like the cop going to his car, writing the ticket, whatever. And so maybe I will go and like watch that full thing just to make sure that there's not anything substantive. But I just wanted to watch these two with y'all, get a little bit of an initial reaction to the situation. Um, As usual, I'm a little on the fence. I mean, I don't really like this cop's attitude. I don't think the tickets were necessary, but at the same time, I can see how, you know, if this is the third time he's pulled her over, she doesn't really seem to be wanting to follow the rules. At some point you do, I mean, I say this with Bam, like at some point, if you let somebody off so many times and then you do want to finally like hold them some way responsible, some way accountable, you don't want to give people special treatment because they're a celebrity. But again, you have to use nuance and you have to look at the context. You have to look at everything in the situation. I mean, Britney Spears isn't just some celebrity. She's a celebrity that was held in involuntary servitude for 13 years and was abused by her own blood-related family and is going through a lot and stuff like that. So it's not just like, oh, it's just a famous celebrity. But at the same time, I do believe it's very important for especially somebody like Britney Spears, who does seem to just want to be a normal person. She just wants to live a normal life. She wants to be normal. It's important for people like that to learn what's normal. And for a normal person living in that area of California, driving, they would have interactions with the cops that would be that way. They would be expected not to speed. They would be given tickets and warnings and citations. That's normal. And so I think that's fine. I think that Brittany was maybe treated a little bit nicer than the average person on the street. But at the same time, y'all got to understand cops in like rich people areas are nicer. They are nicer. They make more money for that job. And they are aware that if they mess with the wrong person, then that person might have enough money to actually do something about it. Whereas whenever cops are policing in middle class or lower middle class or like working poor or like whatever areas, then they sometimes have a tendency to be way, way more abusive and more aggressive and more hostile because in their minds, they don't believe that the people who they're being hostile and aggressive towards have the resources and the ability to really get any justice. And a lot of times that ends up being true. So in a place like Thousand Oaks or somewhere where a lot of rich people live, maybe Calabasas or whatever, I do think that is how the cops probably act. I mean, the cops act very different, for example, in Trenton, New Jersey than they do in Princeton, New Jersey. They act different. It's like sometimes they're just nicer. So I hear the people who are saying that Britney shouldn't have been let off with warnings. She should have been given tickets. I hear the criticism that maybe she got special treatment because she's a celebrity or specifically because she's Britney Spears. That could be true. I hear y'all. But at the same time, in these rich areas, the cops are nicer and it is very likely that they do let other people off with just warnings and fix it tickets and non-moving violations and things like that. It's very likely that's just how they act over there for the reasons that I already explained. So that's pretty much my thoughts on it. The main outside any question I really do still have is why this timing? Why was this body camera footage taken six weeks ago and we didn't hear about it till yesterday? Also, I'm just curious if I would have requested this body camera footage if they would have sent it to me. Do y'all know what I mean? Because I've requested a lot of body camera footage in California. I have never received it. And I do believe most of the time it has been in LA County. So this is like, seems like it's a different jurisdiction. Also, I think I've only requested those body camera footages from LA cops, not state troopers or state highway patrol or whatever. So I don't know. I'm, I'll just leave that one alone. I'll just say that maybe I was just, you know, maybe it just so happens that LA is the worst or something. But the timing to me is the most important thing that sticks out. I see why the cop gave her a ticket. Apparently that was the third time at least that they had interacted. I could see why he did that. At some point you do have to give a ticket a little something. You have to kind of say that you're serious about stuff or else what's the point, you know? But at the same time, I would have been totally fine with him not giving her a ticket to, I think it should be all case by case, but I also understand the need to do things uniformly because at the end of the day, we all are entitled to equal 
protection under the law, which I believe should mean equal enforcement of the law, but I guess that's a philosophical legal analysis for another day. That's all I really had for today. In the meantime, facts ain't defamation. Love you, Mina. Okay, bye.